You go by Zoe, right? Go by Zoe. Yeah, I go by Zoe. Go by Zoe, Amino, or the psilocybin theory. <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> but well, yeah, but this will say Zoe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care All right, this also podcast wholesome. B Mitch, Wavy Trey. Today we got Zoe the psilocybin uh, yeah. fairy, fairy yeah, yeah, yeah. in the she building. Got her name. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Before we start, check us out on Apple Podcast, Spotify, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, like, comment, share. Let us know how you like this shit. Yes, please. So today, what I want to know is, um, what are y'all thoughts on? The idea of that you have to be the breadwinner in order to lead a relationship. Like, do y'all agree with that or disagree? Um, I, I disagree. You don't think you got to be the breadwinner to lead a relationship? Um, no, because, I mean, if I'm with a woman who made more, I mean, I'm going to make money regardless, but if she making more, I'm going to technically say, oh, she the breadwinner because she making more, mm-hmm. but... I'm a nigga. I'm leading this shit. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I also feel like, especially, I don't feel like you have to be the breadwinner to, you know, lead the lead the relationship. I look at it as balance. Let's say the woman is a breadwinner, so she's making more money than her male counterpart. That's fine. Well, he's showing up in other ways mm. beyond financially. So maybe he's uh, taking care of her emotionally, uh, mentally, spiritually, just showing up in his way, bringing up his part, and she's bringing in more financially. So. I look at it as, as a balance. Okay. Really a- so what do y'all think if, so like, what if the person that's bringing in more financially and they're paying all the bills, does that allow them the opportunity to cheat? Since they're paying for everything, do they get to kind of yeah. make up those rules? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, uh, they can. I, I think it depends on the relationship. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. yeah, so if, if me, I say... If it just happened organically like that, I'm not going to just, oh, be just stepping out and cheating. And I'm black, man. I wouldn't do that anyway. <laughs> but <clears throat> if, you know, it'd be some women out there who require, like, oh, he got to pay everything. Like, he got to pay all the bills, all that shit. He got to make so much money. Women like that, I am having other women for sure. Like, mm. you're not going to be my only one because that's your requirement. If I'm dealing with one and it just naturally went that route organically, but she didn't require all that, mm. then it's a different story. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree with your statement. Yeah, no, especially if a woman is requiring, <laughs> oh, well, you have to have this, make this X amount of money, have to pay for my bills, this and the third, hair and nails all the time. Um, I guess the man is able, like yeah. he's obligated to do. Yeah, women know, like that wants. don't deserve to only have yeah. uh, have a man to I only fuck that. with them. Like she don't deserve to just have a monogamous man. I, I feel. Yeah, I mean, and then this is where like I look at the woman as well. Women as women, we have to look at ourselves. Like, mm-hmm. okay, we require for a man to make you know to do this, that, and the third for us. What are we bringing to the table? Yeah, like it. it like I said, I, my whole thing is like equal balance. Just balancing each other out mm-hmm. um yeah i mean i guess if he if y'all talk about that like he's able to mess with whoever he wants to while he's still providing for you um like are then you gotta ask yourself well like are is it okay for you to go mess with other men while you have this one main person mm-hmm. providing everything for you yeah if i'm providing everything yeah. in no conversation because i'm doing everything and you better not step out because I'm doing everything. <laughs> You're doing everything. Right? Yeah. But let's let's reverse the roles. Let's say the, the woman is paying for everything. Um, does mm-hmm. she have that same opportunity to go be with whoever she wants to be with too? I think so. You think yeah. you would think so? Yeah. I think yeah. So. Yeah. She has the right. She's making everything. But then also, <laughs> you make everything, and then only if it's I require it. Like only if it's a requirement. Yeah. Only if it's a requirement. Okay. Only so, uh, from my perspective, I don't. I mean. If it don't have to be like, unless you're providing a significant lifestyle difference than what I can provide for myself, mm. it's a no go. It's a, like you can't just be running around doing whatever you want just because you pay all the bills. Like it'll have to be like, okay, you have me living outside of my means of life. Like I would never be living this this lifestyle. Mm. Then it's like, okay, I get it. You know, that's like so. Say if I married Beyonce, something like that. It's like, okay, mm. fair. You probably go do whatever you wanted to go do. I ain't, I can't say nothing. <laughs> I yeah. can't say nothing. I get it. Mm. But if you just happen to be paying all the bills, that's not enough. That's not enough to just do whatever, in my in my opinion. Even if it's a requirement. Because, I mean, you signed up for that requirement. So if you signed up for it, you signed up for it. Right. Anybody say you be with this person that required this? <laughs> you know the fact. That's not everybody's requirement. 
Um, so, I mean, would y'all ever entertain somebody that have, like, such stringent deal breakers and requirements was like, yo, these are kind of outlandish, but would y'all deal with somebody like that? You deal with somebody like that right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say I've dealt um, in a way, in a way. Elaborate. That's, that's a whole different story. Yeah, I'm definitely, um, definitely um, now I don't want to bring, like, oh, never mind. polygamy or polyandry, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. that in that type of realm, because that's what we're speaking on. It ties into that. Let's say, like, there's one man, um, he's the breadwinner, or he's, I want to say, paying for multiple <coughs> women, or just, you know, but he's the breadwinner. Even as a woman, we're assisting the man in whichever way, career wise, mm-hmm. business, whatever. Um, so the man is able to have um, as much, as many women as he desires, right? But the women, um, at least from the situation I was in, the women aren't able to go out and talk to other men, or okay. other yeah. people, right? So one woman, so multiple women to one man, these women cannot go off mm-hmm. to other men. Um, and he was he able to sustain your lifestyle? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> but like, I, I will say just in my situation, and I know, and I'm seeing now that many women are in situations like that. Just besides status, but I'm seeing a lot of people in this in in a situation like that. I, at least for me, with the woman helping the man in business, so it's not just the man. The women aren't just sitting on their ass and mm-hmm. laying back. Like no, the I women, the women are assisting, mm-hmm. assisting the man in business and financially certain things. But he's paying for everything. We're just, we're just helping. So that's a different situation. It's tricky, but I still feel like the women should be able to go, oh, like to go out and explore. Not saying I'll go have sex with everybody, Tom, Dick, and Harry, this and the third, but I feel like, you know, like they, if they know their situation and what it is, if those people communicate on what it is and what it's not, then if they say that it's okay to be free to talk to other people, but we're still together, mm-hmm. then that's okay. Yeah. So I guess it just depends on circumstances and. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's something we talk about a lot because yeah. uh, me and him we got similar views but different view on that one thing. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, okay. <laughs> can the, can the woman go talk to other people while they're part of this thing? I mean, I feel like if I could do it, then she should be able to do it too. Okay, where she like yeah, nah, be like nah, you say no, yeah, because <clears throat> yeah. because me, I'm 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 not the type of being most relationship. So if I go in that, if I go that way and it happens like that, it like I'm be able to. I should be able to fund the lifestyle of everything. So then, mm. even though, like, this is going to sound horrible. I sound so much like a dictator. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, like, so I'm doing all this shit because I'm going to make sure everybody good. And, like, it's still going to be village. We're working together. But mm. if I feel like I'm keeping both parties entertained and shit, like, and mm. I'm doing a lot of funding, if it went that route, mm. y'all don't fucking me. Yeah. That's, yeah. But yeah. I might move around, but y'all only. Yeah, the only problem with that is it's very just difficult just to be fulfilling for multiple people. Like, just one person can't be fulfilling so, for all these people. Like, exactly. it's just it's impossible. It is. It's impossible. Just like how, our, for both our point of view is, one woman probably can't fulfill us. What makes you think you could just fulfill them? Yeah. It's a people thing. Like, it no, just no. seems unrealistic. And no, that's 100% fair. It's just like, but if I'm to do with the money... If it ever go that route, I don't care. That's fucked up to say, but I don't care. Mm-hmm. But, like, I live my life anyway. It's just, like, shit, you do you, I do me. But if I feel like I would ever go that serious route and went that way, I'd be, like, uh. Unless we all just doing our own thing, like, we're all equally fun and shit. Not equally, but everybody playing a significant role. Everybody is a significant role player. Then maybe I'll, I'll be like, uh, do you to a certain extent. Yeah. Let me ask this. Like, what were some of the, um, like, when you're in a situation like that, like, what were some of the things that bothered you, like, about that? Um, I would say um, definitely the statement that you just made, one person cannot fulfill all these women. Like, I guess when I first in- entered into it, it was just fun. It was an experience. But I feel like as if things got, like, once things got serious in the relationship, I'm like, okay, can I truly see me living this lifestyle for forever? Let's say, like, mm-hmm. with marriage, with kids, like, would I feel fulfilled in this? 
absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the aspect of um, like a community, like we're all a family, we're all working towards a certain goal. That's mm -hmm. one thing. That's like business aspect. But once it comes to the personal and the relationship and the love and, and emotions and everything, one man, just for me personally, cannot fulfill that. Mm -hmm. um, and I cannot fulfill everything in one man, at least with a man right. that's like that, that needs this in a third. Um, and this is where me and that person butted heads. Mm -hmm. um, you're like, oh, well, I, like, let me be your everything. Like, I'm the mm -hmm. only man that you need. Like this and the third, I'm just like, no, you, know, yeah. you can't. Like, I'm, I'm open enough and I'm free enough and confident enough within myself to not say let you, but yeah, to, like to let you accept you for you needing multiple women mm -hmm. just for your own fulfillments for certain certain things. I cannot fulfill that all for you, as you cannot fulfill that for me. Right. So even if I am talking to another male as a friend, or if I do find another male like love interest, like just know that I'm still with you. I'm still yeah, with you, yeah. but you know maybe I connect with this person um, on something different. And, yeah, yeah, on something different, and that's okay. But um, yeah. So it, just when it comes, I to hate that, when people like, don't be understanding that part. Like we need multiple <laughs> connections. But uh, yeah. um, so when you uh, jumped into that world, like how many women did he have? Um, well, let's see. So when I first came in, and this is when I first moved here, um, he had two women, two women. So then I was the third, but I really came in just as a friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, this this was all new to me. I didn't know anything about polygamy, polyandry, all this polygyny really he said he's polygynist um so i just really came in as a friend but yes we did have um that connection so then as time went on the first two women dropped and then it was just me and him and then what do you mean they dropped <laughs> they <laughs> they left <laughs> oh they they left they yeah, left him they or left. he dropped them or it, he they left they left okay yeah okay. it is they like left. at the same time uh the the first one one of the women left first okay and then maybe a few months after the second one, the second girl dropped. And then it was just me and him. But at this time, I'm still thinking that we're just friends. Like, I'm still here. Like, we're family. We're friends. Mm -hmm. I love you platonically, you know. Yeah. But anyway, so then so then it was just me and him. And then things got a little serious. And then another girl came. So I'm going to say maybe a good three. Uh, one, another girl came in. It was pretty serious. And then it was us three. And then he had maybe two others that he was just messing around with. Mm -hmm. Um, and we all knew each other. All yeah. the girls knew each other and knew what it was. He's very, he was very like open and honest about what he is, what he, you know, desires out of life. Cool. Um, yeah. So I've seen a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've seen how, like, like how everything played out. Mm -hmm. so why, why did the first two leave? It just, um, complication, just <laughs> disagreements. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it's disagreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I truly feel that if a man who is polygamous, polygynous, if he cannot one be confident within within himself first to be able to uh, handle multiple women all at once, if he's not confident enough, I mean, say financially, just stable within himself, mm -hmm. emotionally, and emotionally, mentally, all that. There is no way that a man should be able like should to should do that yeah. with multiple women unless it's just you know free but to be serious with all these women and get your hearts tangled up and everything emotions tied up yeah a man needs to be one with himself mm -hmm. know him first before he's able or should even you know like to manage and be in a relationship with multiple yeah. women so what uh <laughs> yeah i agree that's very important yeah. <laughs> so did you see those signs at first or what made you jump into it and then you like damn kind of flat like I'm rocking with it. Like. Yeah. Uh, so in the beginning, I saw the signs. It was just new to me. I'm like, I, I put myself in the friend zone. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, you know, I'll be your friend. You want this relationship? I just moved here and I don't really know you that well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let me just see. Let mm -hmm. me just see how you play this out. Let me see who you are, how you, you know, as a man, how you take the lead, taking charge, and how you treat these women. So it played out started so things i'm gonna definitely say the rose tinted glasses came off mm -hmm. of started seeing everything and then when it started getting personal with me and him and that's when i'm like you know what i'm okay mm -hmm. i have i can't i can't live my life like this mm -hmm. it started to get dark very fast mm -hmm. but that's just that story um and i'm like yeah so i'm just at this point in my life with that like i'm just trying to live my life yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't sure. want me to live my life and meet other people like meet other men you know, to connect with other men, even if it's like business wise or just 
any other aspects you're trying to be overly like you're trying to be controlling yeah mm-hmm. like they didn't even let you network and network nothing. and everything so that was like hindering my personal life not gonna do that yeah so yeah it it depends on the situation the situation and just yeah man please even with having multiple women there's nothing wrong with that live life explore there's plenty of people you know what i mean just i'm always like live your life there's you meet multiple women multiple people where this is all in this is all an experience mm-hmm. everybody that we come in contact with is an experience for however long a few minutes days hours the years months mm-hmm. every time it's an experience so if that experience as a man with a woman if that is not like instrumental to your life or if it's hindering you in any way let it go move on be free love yourself first there's more. There's more to go. Keep, keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, nah, I mean, I think um, whenever it's a situation like that and it does get controlling, it's just a headache for everybody. Yeah. yeah. It's just a headache for everybody where it's like nobody is really um, able to be free within that. But I think you, whenever you're in anything poly, you got to be so open with everything um, just to keep everybody on the same page. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's not um it's not it's not very easy it's not it's not especially when dealing with just so many emotions it's yeah like, everybody got different emotions mm-hmm. you got you tend to hurt need different to hurt because everybody got different love languages mm-hmm. and stuff every, yeah you gotta approach everybody differently then like you said be emotionally secure like every man ain't emotionally secure for real <clears throat> like most of them are not mm-hmm. and shit what is emotional like, what's emotional security what is that <clears throat> um a lot of people might be scared to be them true selves so like they be controlling or whatever who knows why they whatever the reason is so like why? Well, what is emotional security like what is it let's define it emotional, no that is. emotional security is me and what i am it's just like <laughs> <laughs> emotional security is just like yes yeah, like you treating it we're growing together but like you got things to work on. Someone come to you, you got you, you should you should work on those things or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be you can't be like a motherfucking dictator. You can't be in your emotions. Oh, you wanna you wanna meet other people? Yeah, if we're if I if we're in this realm, I should be okay. At least be friends or something. Uh, be financially secure. Maybe I need to get my bag up or whatever. Like all that. Financial go with the mental as well. I what feel. is emotional security? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to know. What, what is, is this? That was, that was an in-depth explanation. Okay. Okay. I understand what you're saying. No, I, I know what he's saying, but I ain't got nothing to do with emotions. Okay. Well, emotional <laughs> security <laughs> and being, and being, you got to be one <laughs> with your... Right. 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 You funny, funny, funny. I don't understand nothing to do with emotions. I don't know. You're right. That, that was a lot. That was a lot. No, emotional security for real. It just... You got to know yourself and know what you can handle. Everybody okay. do Everybody do want m- multiple women and shit, but can you deal with multiple women? How are you when you're by yourself? When you're alone, are you okay with being alone? Like, are you comfortable with that? Because a lot of people might get a bunch of women because they're not comfortable with themselves, so mm-hmm. they just want to be with different women every night because of that shit alone. So you got to be okay with the nights when you're by yourself you can't be fucking scared or lonely or some not i would say stupid shit but some other shit because you're by yourself oh like let me go buy all these extra things because i'm insecure let me show like i got it even though i don't because i'm insecure that's Mm. not being uh emotionally secure okay and shit what's the most security to you for me emotional security is knowing just knowing how you knowing how you are emotionally knowing your mental your thoughts knowing how you process emotions knowing how you process certain information um and how you handle that and how you react how you react to certain situations where you may be triggered and so just example like if something were to make you mad piss you off um emotional security are you secure within yourself are you gonna say okay even though this is um uh, pressing my buttons like I'm, I'm getting mad and angry right now I'm frustrated am I going to lash out mm. so that's um, so yeah am I going to lash out 
think, you know what I mean? Just like be self-aware of yourself, be self-aware of your emotions. Um, some people don't even, don't have emotional security, aren't aware of, of their emotions at all. Their reaction, something pisses them off, they're gonna react right then and there, mm-hmm. and then they're gonna think after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Damn, like ah, that didn't make me mad, but why did I? You know, I yeah. didn't mean to react this way or that third. Um, so yeah, just be secure. Just yeah, being secure within your emotions. And um, one thing with that, at least I do in certain situations, good or bad, I always like to do like a body scan of myself. Mm-hmm. And um, for example, let's say if something is making me mad, I'm like, okay. I'm going to breathe in, breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Zoe, how am I feeling right now? How is the situation making me feel? Am I angry? Am I mad? Am I upset? How am I feeling? Mm-hmm. Why is this triggering me? Okay. Like, do I need it? Is this something I need to react? How, like, just in, just in, in that moment, just doing a full body scan of myself. If, I, if my body's feeling tense or whatever, like, why am I feeling tense? Because just per the situation. So yeah, just really just basically sum that up just make like just yeah just doing a scan of myself and see how i'm feeling in certain situations Mm -hmm. and reacting accordingly to certain things yeah how about for you well i don't i don't know what emotional security is that's why i was asking (laughs) y'all just our perspective Um, I, yeah, I had never heard of that, so I was, but y'all saw a gun cold one. I was like, well, I need a, I need yeah. a definition <laughs> on what this yeah. is before I comment on it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know that. I don't yeah, know if I have yeah, that. Yeah, okay. I don't yeah. know if I have that or not. Because, um, I mean, there's emotions that I, I haven't tapped into. I haven't tapped into much relationship type of love. I haven't tapped I haven't tapped into a lot of emotions. I don't know if I have emotional security. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm unaware because I haven't tapped into all these various things that, you know, I just ignore. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why do you ignore it? Oh, um, probably because I'm not secure within them emotions. <laughs> you know, uh, that type of love mm-hmm. or um, sadness. Like, I'm not really tapped into those type of things. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm probably... Are I, you tapped into those emotions not pertaining to a relationship? Let's love, yeah, life. I think so. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think I've, I've grown up with a lot of love in general. Um, mm-hmm. But I think with love, I think this is what it is. I think with love, there's sadness. I think there are two things that, that coincide clearly. I mean, you know opposites but they they go together fairly i mm. mean because you can't have one without the other right. uh, like love and loss i guess was what it is mm. um so with that i mean i've had both so but i just don't i don't embrace either i guess that's the way to put it <laughs> that's but, good no that's good it's a fact it's yeah, a fact that's, that's good I, don't, I don't really embrace either but i've grown up with a lot of love but it's just not something that i um portray onto other people in a relationship form mm. For whatever reason, so am I emotionally secure? Probably not. Probably not. I'll teach you. Mm-hmm. There you go. Are you emotionally secure? Probably <laughs> not. I, 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 I think I think I am. But if you believe you are, then you are. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's all the mindset maybe thing. Maybe in ways you are, maybe in ways you aren't. Yeah, then, yeah, for sure. As time goes by and experience, are going to discover it. Some of At some point, you'll so. discover it. At <laughs> yeah. some point. That's but sweet. I mean. I don't know. I'm okay where I'm at too. <laughs> like it's be one thing. Like this. This how I know I'm not as much secure. Secure because like when I go to weddings, <laughs> y'all ever been to a wedding and like see people they in love? You like wow, they look like they really love each other. And, look, see, she like. <laughs> oh, oh, I'd be yeah. at the weddings like I don't think I can love somebody. That much. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like I'd be looking like I'm like they love each other for sure, but I don't know if that could be me. Like. Could that be me? Like, you know, you try to put yourself there and I'll be like, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> they reading the vows. I'm like, these vows is real. Yeah, deep. Been these a, are yeah. some deep <laughs> vows. <laughs> yeah, I ain't been to what it since a kid, so I don't even know. That should be heavy. You'd be like, this this they for real. Like, yeah, this ain't there, no for play. <laughs> crying and shit. Yeah, I'll be like, then you start thinking about, you know, your dating life, you're like, nah, I'm not like you know, who, you look at look at your phone. Like, <laughs> these ain't nutty. None of them got me feeling this way. I don't think I could do this. That's you ain't even in the wedding. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. Oh. So yeah, that's mm-hmm. funny. Yeah, that's for real. <laughs> that's for real. What's your views when you go to a wedding? You've been to a wedding um, as an adult. I haven't yet? been to a wedding in a long while. But yeah, the last wedding I went to was when I was like nineteen. My friend got married straight after like high school. That was beautiful. Young love. I'm just like, oh, they really love each other. Yeah. And then sometimes I do look at the marriage or the couple getting married. Hmm. Is this going to last? <laughs> do y'all really love each other? Yeah. Are y'all doing it for religious reasons? Like, what? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Babies, I see that. So, I don't know. I'm yeah, like, I think well, everybody looks at it like, is this going to work like, or not? Is this going to work? We'll see you in a good five years. The older I get, I'd be like. But, 
if I get married, it was going to more be a business transaction. We both were like, I got to make sure mm. she, we just financial at this point and just start a good family. Because, yeah, that love factor be like, I don't know if I ever truly been in love. I don't, like, I don't know that feeling. Mm, mm. Very emotional, secure. Yeah, uh, yeah. And secure, controlling my emotions. Sure. Mm. You're suppressing your love is what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. That's true. I mean, yeah. I don't think you should suppress, you know, your emotions. But So, would you get married then? I would. Yeah, that is definitely one thing on my bucket list. More than just the ceremony. Mm. It's, uh, it's uh, For me, getting married is just more than the ceremony, the dress, the, the party. Is that, like, it is, for me, truly is like a commitment like a symbol like of commitment to our love mm -hmm. and why we're here why we're doing this like i love you you love me but it's more when i look at that it's even more than love like what do yeah. we like how are we as a team like mm. like more than just financially how do we come together how do we fucking take over the world like what are we doing what are we yeah yeah, we, we, we could be How great we, teammates yeah. without getting married we could hold each other down without all the documented paperwork that's yeah that's true that's very true. Yeah, like uh, then what do we? Lord forbid we fall out because I'm in this shit forever. But we fall out now. Mm -hmm. We gotta get divorced now. Uh, you try to get some of this money and shit. Like try to get child support <laughs> and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I don't. Now that's the part I always think about in the back of my head. Cause like mm -hmm. if I do most most marriages, it's over fifty percent. Them motherfuckers ain't lasting. Yeah. It's over fifty. It's a high number. I forgot what the number is, but it's pretty high. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a statistic. Yeah, that's true. That's but you true. can't let that scare you away from, you know, don't block your blessings. Right. Ain't that what they say? Yeah. If it's meant to be, it'll come. So I'm always, I'm, I'm a free-flowing guy. I stay positive, so I would go in the direction. So, like, I'm always open, so I let the energy come to me if mm. it does. Mm. So if it come, it come. If don't, it don't. I ain't tripping. But I will never block a blessing. If I know, oh, she right, we right for each other. In all ways, you got to, yeah. In all ways, you, you match the boxes that I need or whatever. Then cool. Okay, let's rock out and think about marriage. Mm, I do have a question for men, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, especially when it comes to courting a woman or <clears throat> even putting that idea of marriage when it comes to a specific woman. How do you know that she is the one? How do you know that this is the one that I may want to be with, like, for the rest of my life? You, or you, you, you be might be asking the wrong, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, so, yes, yes, you probably asking the wrong, too. But, that's true. <laughs> but, no, nah, it's, it's some you, you treat differently. It's like, okay, yeah. now, nah, she could be fire. Like, based on who she is as a person, mm. um, I'm going to treat people differently based on who they are deep down inside. It's like, okay, this is a good person that does good in life. Like, with or without anybody being around, they're going to be they're going to have a, have a successful life because they're a solid person this person is going to be a little different okay that's cool though ain't nothing wrong with it having a little different lifestyle yeah. but we i don't know how solid you are as a person deep down inside yet so i got to treat you a little bit differently so you figure that out but this solid person okay there's potential there i, I got to treat them differently i got to kind of you know protect them from the savagery of life <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? so i might approach them or take them on dates or have conversations that are more fruitful or more meaningful compared to this other person that's possibly not there yet mm. and I don't mean that we're gonna get married but it might sound like it <laughs> yeah. lead someone on just string them along <laughs> no you never <laughs> wait you just said the energy if the energy is leading me there I'm gonna go with it I'm gonna go with it I'm gonna go with the energy. Okay. So I'm not okay. just drinking them along. I'm gonna go with it. I like, you know, I like this person. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go ahead and go with it for as long as possible. <laughs> let's see what we can do. That's that's fair. So I think it, it just comes down to who they are deep down inside, mm -hmm. um, and how uh, kind of how much they value what they have going on. For me, that that determines how much I'm gonna value what they got going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with that to a, a degree or whatever because, be you as a person like. It's always the number one. Like I say, I say this all the time. Like someone could be lit. Like we we gel real well. Like our hanging out was just so compatible. Mm -hmm. But morally, we aren't compatible. Like a lot mm -hmm. of women got different morals. So it's just like you cool, but it's something not right within yourself. I see how you treat and act in certain situations that's not wifeable to me. Mm -hmm. and shit. So I see that. So like 
it, oh, we cool, but then you, me taking you seriously, the lights get dimmer and dimmer, and then we just friends for life. Yeah, and I think, like, this is, it's cliche, but the whole working on yourself thing, like, that's very important. Oh, yes. Like, if you come to, like, for me, if you come to me, I'm, I'm 34, you come to me still all broken, still figuring stuff out, I can't deal with you. Like, mm-hmm. you need to mm-hmm. go somewhere else, like, get away from me. Okay. Not to be like that, but get away from me. Yeah. Like, I can't, I just can't have that around me, not at this point in my life. Now, maybe in my early 20s, you know, I have more of that around, whatever, just because everybody's all in shambles, whatever, it's life. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> but, fast. but at this point in life, like, you got to come already well put together and understanding who you are. Like, you got to have that confidence within you. Like, nah, I'm mm-hmm. good over here. I just want to add a piece. Like, it's got to be that yeah, already. Yeah, so no builder bears uh, no, you gotta build yourself up. Come, yeah. come already ready. Yeah, right. Oof. And that's gonna see even you saying this at your stage of life in, right. in your thirties. And this is definitely one thing I've been uh, talking about this year. And I'm 25, just yeah. turning 25, just experiencing relationships, looking at friends in different relationships. Like, do not come to me with all this trauma and damage, and you haven't worked on yourself to mm-hmm. a certain extent. <clears throat> yeah. Because if you are at war within yourself. With, within yourself all of that is gonna bleed on to me exactly, and exactly. I'm just me as a woman as a nurturer and just in who I am naturally I'm going to I'm I'm gonna want to help you yeah I'm, I'm, I'll help you in the ways that I can but not to the point where like I'm getting damaged like you're yeah. damaging me I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm lifting you up and by the time I lift you up I'm all broken in yeah, pieces yeah can't do it can't do that we, so yeah, yeah. We, we all are people <laughs> people we feel energy or whatever so like <clears throat> I want the positive people around. I don't want the negative Nancy's all the time who always going through shit. Like, why are you always going through shit? Like, like ain't no positiveness in your life or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, even in my friend group, like, we only talking about positive. So if I'm dealing with a girl, like, I'm in my thirties, like, we did. De- if I'm dealing with a girl, like, I should. It should be just positiveness. Sure, you're gonna have a bad day, but how are you recouping? How you bouncing back? Like how you getting through this thunderstorm and mm-hmm. shit? Like you get in with a good mindset, or you just crying and bitch and let. If it's something serious, cool, whatever. But if it ain't that deep and you're not trying to work through that, and just you always got issues back to back, it's like why is it? It's just always a negative problem in your life. Mm-hmm. Like I, I can't deal. Like cause I'm just a fun loving, positive ass dude. Like I just. No, even if I'm going through shit, I'm, it, you never know, cause shit, yeah. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. I like that, and especially when, like, when it comes to your friends, like, when it comes to a person, just always down in a lower vibration. Oh, I'm going through this and a third, just speaking very negatively all the time. Yeah, I know. And then, and and if you're doing that, if all your friends are just speaking of just lower shit, that's a trauma bond. People, yeah. trauma bonding gets you nowhere. And this is where you have to revert that, revert that cycle, break these, uh, break these cycles, break these habits, right? Okay, you're going through something. Instead of being stuck in that complaining all the time, let's fix. Let's it. find a solution. How are we going to get ourselves out of this? Mm-hmm. How can we, as friends or whoever, support you, support each other in getting up out of this, this, this rut? Yeah, cause I stopped talking to negative people. Yeah. It's draining. Yeah, it drains your energy. Yeah, yeah, it's annoying. Me you're too. annoying. You're you you going through shit. You're annoying me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's draining me. I'm tired. Yeah, I talk to you. You're 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 um pushing all this shit on you know stuff on me. Talking. I'm yeah, you, drained you, by yeah, the end of the conversation. You hit someone up. They ain't picking up your phone calls. You know why? Cause you're always negative. <laughs> yeah. But I do think, um, especially if you're dating somebody, you need to allow for some grace to allow them to express <clears throat> themselves to you as well. Though. Absolutely. Yes. I think there's a balance there where. There is expression, and then there's overdoing it where it's like, okay, you're doing too much. You need to go figure it out on your own. Yes. But they should be able to express themselves good, bad, or indifferent and say, hey, mm-hmm. this is this is what I'm going through. This is what's going on. Um, if they can't express themselves to you, then why are you dealing with them anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fair, but it's definitely a line and <clears throat> shit. So, yeah. Tell me how your day going. Oh, little Susie at the job. She 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 was doing the most. Like she 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 was she was trying you a little bit cool, but I could deal with that. We could talk. Oh my God, she really did that. Oh damn. But when it gets too hectic and it always continues like every day, I like I know why you keep talking to damn Susie at the damn job. Like well, you you could you could avoid her after a while. Like that's true. Something yeah. <laughs> see, like, especially when it does come to a relationship, though, um, as partners, we should 
make each other feel just yeah be open into what's going on with us Mm -hmm. and just hold that space for each other to express like how we feel our emotions whether it is high whether it is low um yeah don't let that bullshit bleed into a relationship that's true though don't let it bleed onto the other person well yes and yes and no why i say yes and no is because nobody should feel like they should have to hold something in um from their partner like they should be able to express whatever to you but i think it's the the filtering your partner part should probably come before you in a relationship where it's like this person shouldn't be having a bunch of trauma stuff going on yeah. because they've already fixed it or whatever so if you chose to get in a relationship with this person already that has all this going on you chose this person this is who you chose to deal with Shit, mm. you got to deal with it then unfortunately yeah. to me in my opinion mm-hmm. what what if um okay you never know people when you get in a relationship people change they grow in different directions people grow True. apart so maybe at one point she she was just so uplifting and positive and shit now y'all three years deep or whatever okay and now she it's negative mm-hmm. negativity for weeks at a time like so then that means something must have happened to cause this and that means you mm-hmm. shouldn't dismiss it and say nah just start being positive mm-hmm. you got to get to the root of it and figure out well what happened here mm-hmm. You know how are these changes happening? How are you becoming this negative person? Let's let's dive deeper and figure this out together. It can't be because y'all are together now. Mm-hmm. It's not just a them problem. You just say nah. You you know you got to figure that out. Yeah. So what, what? I'm just throwing out random scenario. What if she said? Scenario. No. Yeah. What if she said she was all happy, but then she tell you shit. My work husband died and shit. Like you can't mm-hmm. face that. <laughs> yeah. So work husband died. I mean, that's that's trauma. That's a big deal. You know. Yeah. How would you deal with it? How would I deal with it? <laughs> her, work, her work husband <laughs> died, and now she negative. But you want her to be positive again. What you gonna do? Well, <laughs> fortunately, if I'm in this scenario, I probably have you know another woman as well. I'm gonna <laughs> express myself to, the, to this other woman. Um, express my frustrations. Um, <laughs> I, you know, the relationship might not go that well after that. <laughs> it might not go that well because, you know, I don't need to know about your work husband. I don't need to know about your work Why husband. Why are you calling him work husband? Why like, are you just like, right? Well, yeah, you, like, you express too much to me. Now I'm depressed too. Listen. <laughs> so you don't think you can get... Don't think I'll be a positive. No, the, the negativity is passed on to me now. It's, it's passed on to me now. I'm negative. I'm taking it to my side joint. Everybody negative now. I got to get a new wife at this point. I just want to see what you want to say. Oh my god. Because why are you telling me about this workout? The nigga dead now. All right, because what you want me to do? <laughs> Yeah, why are you telling me about this work husband? Yeah, you got to word it different. Like, I don't need to know everything. I don't need to know. Your friend at work died. Okay, cool. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. It's tough on the handle. It's a tough situation. Do do men have like? I guess men they should be they should be liking people at work. <coughs> Why? See now I'm doing me. <laughs> dudes gotta stop liking people at work that have significant others in general. I think it's not appropriate. I agree. I I wouldn't do it, but you work in an environment, you around this person more than your uh mm-hmm. husband or wife, mm-hmm. like is you bound to just accidentally bond with people? Oh, we got similarities, commonality, or whatever. Like, oh, you really cool and you look good. What well, am like? Uh, now we both maybe don't caught feelings or something. Like, I wouldn't do it, but like, if you run someone for long periods of time, then people be working with jobs or companies for five, ten, twenty years. Like, that's tough. Still a bad idea, Corey, but it's tough. Yeah, I mean, uh, and that's where like you as an individual have to separate your feelings and emotions yeah even though with the people that you're working with or love interest that you have at work you are seeing that person more than your spouse at home but i mean you gotta you gotta cross the line you gotta put some boundaries within yourself discipline discipline discipline. it is discipline that's really what it is life is all about discipline (laughs) you gotta have boundaries like yeah you know we have a good connection you know we play around here and there we may flirt but it shouldn't go beyond that no. Once it gets to like kissing and I mean, just being a little too touchy touchy feely sexual interaction, that's mm, it's out the window. Just, yeah, it's out the window. No, you can't you can't mix uh, 
business of pleasure. Somebody need to be fired. Absolutely not. Forced your work husband died, so that's I mean that solved that problem a little bit. <laughs> now you're getting divorced because she expressed. She went. She thought she could confide in you. Yeah. She expressed herself. Thing sure. it was a safe place, and now you ready to let it go. No, I'm gonna I'm have a shoulder for her to cry on just right before I leave out. <laughs> 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 you know, get all those tears yeah. out. So it's gonna be okay. It's okay. Just not today. Just not today. <laughs> not today. Um, but I mean. One thing we could all agree on, it sounded like your cup is empty, but that's okay. There's a little bit left. Okay. Just a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> um, so we appreciate you coming through today, but Thank we got to agree that black men don't cheat. This has been a wholesome podcast. We appreciate you, Zoe the Psilocybin Fairy. Thank you. Thank you through. all for having me. I really do appreciate you all. Absolutely. Of course.